See you and hold you in love on this day. I see you and hold you in love on this day. There's no need for you to worry in a lonely kind of way. Let our hearts be unburied as we shout and celebrate that you see me. Hold me in love on this day. Whoa, whoa, let me hold you soft. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold you soft. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold you soft. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold you soft. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold you soft. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your song. Whoa, whoa, let me hold your joyful song. I see you and hold you in love on this day. Oh, on this day. I see you. Welcome to the 2022 Pacific Western's Unitarian Universalist Regional Assembly. Before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge that San Diego, the geographic site of this event, is located on the unceded ancestral lands of the Kumeyaay people. This is the land that has been inextricably tied to their way of life, well-being, and spiritual identity for countless centuries. The Kumeyaay way of life is one in relationship with the forces of nature, in harmony with the cycles of, of the sky. As attended T attendees at PWR Regional Assembly, we will honor this legacy. We encourage all attendees to take action to be in a deeper relationship with the Kumeyaay and also with the indigenous tribes near you. To learn more and begin, we urge you to go to www.kumeyaay.com. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to this place. We come from the water, we come from the land. Inside of us is a longing to be with those who understand us and who love us unconditionally. Welcome. Welcome to this space. Your presence here matters. You matter. Your dreams 
your lives, your experiences matter. Welcome. I welcome you from the heritage of my ancestors who dreamed me into being from the ancestral lands of Iraq, where the Garden of Eden resides, that piece of heaven on earth, which became our model for love made real, where the two rivers meet, the Tigris, the Euphrates, feeding the world with life-giving, healing waters, creating a vision of what could be when rivers meet and mix and nourish and heal. Welcome, beloveds. We come from the water. We come from the land. We come from the dreams of our ancestors. Welcome. You are welcome here. You are always welcome here because you are loved and you embody love. And together we create the beloved community. So welcome, beloveds. Welcome to worship. Welcome home. Our chalice lighting today is entitled The Spirit of Water by Katie Gelfand. We light this chalice as a symbol of reunion. We reunite in this sanctuary to share the flow of our hearts with one another. We gather together in ritual to celebrate our fountains of joy, to hold each other through storms of grief, to guide one another through rapids of transformation, to rest together on ponds of stillness. Together, we honor the spirit of water, its many forms, and its life-giving essence. Blessed Spirit of my life, give me strength through stress and strife. Help me live with dignity. Let me know serenity. Fill me with the
some time ago, long enough to be called history, but not so long ago that it isn't remembered, the diverse and far-flung peoples of the Western states were ready to unite for the common good. Through a miracle, some say by divine mystery, and still others through the action of human hands, four great rivers sprang up to fill this need. Not only were they rivers of water, but of the love and wisdom needed to spread life-saving ministry to the whole of the West. One river sprang from the high mountains, cold and clear, determined to flow to all who needed it. Another rushed in the north, feeding green and lush forests and nurturing the young that grew there. The third ran in great central cities and carried people to those they loved and information to all that would ask. Finally, the fourth sprang up in the deserts of the south, demanding freedom to shimmer like diamonds and welcome all who asked. This worked for many years, but as the world seemed to grow smaller, the rivers grew lonely and wished to have the gifts of the others. With great effort, the four rivers joined to reflect and planned to unite. I am the cold, clear water of the fallen snow from the high peaks of Mount Evans and Mount Walter, the rushing spring waters of Pikes and Wheeler Peaks feed mirror lakes and quench the thirst of people miles away. Waters join me from the great spine of the earth, said to divide, but much more, I connect. I gather waters of all types along my course and believe all their powerful voices should be heard from the mountaintop to the sanctuaries below. I ask young and old to quest for knowledge and spirit in my quiet forests, windy plains, high deserts, and my bustling cities. I am patient in the dry times, waiting for water to come to me again. Joining the confluence is the river from the desert southwest. Rivers which are generally swallowed up by the sands of the desert, hidden but still feeding the abundant plant, animal, and spirit life which dwells here. Water is such a precious, rare gift that we dance in the summer monsoons, and send songs and prayers of thanks when it rains. The most common conversation topic is, did it rain on your side of town today? What we are really asking is, are you healthy, whole, fed, and sheltered? How is it with your heart? From this tension of drought and flood emerges our communities and all of our diversity. The human-made wonders of Las Vegas and Los Angeles, Phoenix and Santa Barbara. The natural wonders of the Grand Canyon and Death Valley. The Pacific Ocean with its rocky beaches in San Diego. And the sandy beaches of Arizona and Nevada with no ocean to be found. We find community with and in nature, hiking the Saguaro National Park, retreating at Camp de Beneville Pines, or escaping the summer heat on our mountaintops. And we worship together. You use Christians, pagans, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, many more and many unnamed. We seek to embrace the theological call to justice through feeding our neighbors, petitioning legislators and tending local, state, and national political proceedings, teaching our young people how to use their voices for justice, and importantly, placing water in the desert that will literally save lives. And no matter what part of the Southwest we call home, we all come together over sharing music, laughter, and love, because we know we are stronger together. Rushing past Douglas fir and glacial boulders, the Pacific Northwest flows out of the Columbia River as the volcanoes of the Ring of Fire look past the gray skies and gentle rain, keeping watch over Portland and Seattle, Anchorage and Boise and all our populations. Our water is abundant, yet fragile and precious, 
along with other resources of timber and rock, fish and farm, our diversity strengthens us. From Boeing to Microsoft, immigrant farm workers to seventh generation lumberjacks, leading in technology, living wages, education and medicine, just as we struggle to right the severe wrongs of our past and present. Japanese American concentration camps, the unceded lands of indigenous peoples, our redlined cities, our lack of affordable housing. Our communities ask the question, how may we be better stewards to the earth and family to our siblings? How far can we bend the arc of justice? Theists and atheists, sums and nuns, we worship together in celebration of what could be a united humanity. I am the snowy hillsides on the mountain tops in Lake Tahoe. As the weather warms, I melt into the streams and babbling brooks below. I am the Truckee River flowing from California to Nevada. I am the clear blue ocean waters washing ashore on the islands of Hawaii. The fresh smell of salinity blows through the warm air. I am the tall redwood trees in Humboldt County and in Santa Cruz. The forest smells faintly of spice with earthy undertones and just a touch of sweetness hangs in the air. These are sacred lands where both roots and ocean coexist side by side. I am the San Francisco Bay, where there is often a beloved chill in the air. The Golden Gate Bridge is ever glowing in the distance. I am the Sacramento River, flowing through the heart of California, a flowing connection between both North and South. I am Napa Valley, where waters run through every beloved grapevine. Here, the air is warm, and the energy is calm. I am the Oakland and Berkeley Hills, glancing out at the Pacific Ocean, feeling the cool breeze in the air as the sun sets on the horizon. Though my climate is varied and the distance is vast, I am part of an interconnected whole. Today's offering goes to UU Rise. UU Rise is a nonprofit 501c3 organization incorporated in 2007 to empower immigrants and refugees in the U.S. by offering direct legal services, particularly to those who have few resources to obtain legal assistance. With offices in Vista, California, UU Rise provides legal advice and representation to individual clients and extends services throughout the U.S through the provision of workshops and training on immigration and advocacy. Through strategic partnerships, intensive coalition building, and volunteer development, UU RISE has crafted a method of extending legal services to large groups at no or nominal cost. Improving conditions for and treatment of immigrants and refugees is a moral issue that requires ongoing community education and action to raise awareness and impact policy. UU RISE actively contributes to the national discourse on immigrant rights and immigration reform and works with state, local, and county officials to provide education and real life examples related to policies which impact the health and well being of our communities. UU RISE is founded on and grounded in Unitarian Universalist principles which include a passionate vision to affirm and promote a respect for the inherent worth and dignity of every person. In harmony with these principles and in accordance with laws governing nonprofit organizations, UU RISE is radically inclusive, intentionally creating a safe and welcoming environment for all people without discrimination. Please give generously and as you are inspired, reach out and develop a relationship with these wonderful folks. Slowly and reverently pour the water and their contents 
from the pitcher or your cups, the four rivers into the bowl. Survey the tiny ripples undulating forth, hypnotic. Watch them coalesce, melding smoothly together. As the rivers came together to share their gifts, light danced on them, and the swirling of each of them in and around each other began to create music. Join us in spirit or body in the spiritual practice of moving to the music they made. Please join me in some spiritual movement, neither body or spirit. However your body moves or doesn't, it's welcome here. Do this however you choose. Take a deep breath. One more. Just one side. Yeah. Or everybody knows. Just the other side. Low four. Low, low. What does that mean to you? It means everything I do. I'm just one river. How about low high? Ooh, here's some rapids. Try to turn. Anything part of your body, you want to turn. Oh, for the joy of that turn. Turn in Join us in singing our hymn with your voice or your spirit. And keep dancing. I need my way. 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 I need my way back home. I need my way. I need my way, I need my way, I need my way, I need my way, I need my way back.
my way, finding my way, finding my way back The rivers found as they danced together that each of their strengths mixed and combined to make them all stronger. Though they came from different places and held different experiences, the river they created was wide and powerful. Each river rejoiced in the unity found together. The rushing of the waters were like the words of a prayer. Will you pray with me? Go to Tougaloo, the meeting place of two rivers, and be quiet, Dr. Alexis Pauling Gums writes. Wait for the light that floats above the water where Pearl meets Mississippi and step in it. If you are too afraid to trust the light, to know yourself as more than one river, you will never know. Step in when you are ready. Dr. Gums writes these words in two rivers, sharing an extraordinary poem about synergy and sacrifice, activism and salvation. In this lovely literary piece, Dr. Gums weaves a story of Audre Lorde's transformation from a librarian into a poet and a justice advocate, binding it to tales of Fannie Lou Hamer's accomplishments on behalf of impoverished and excluded Black folk in Sunflower County, Mississippi, upon the backdrop and imagery of two powerful rivers joining, coming together in Tougaloo. She continues, let your hands lead you to what you want, which is the writing under shore, raised like braille, so you have to touch it first to know it. Touch that part of yourself that is current and running and flooding at exactly this time and continue to breathe. Will you breathe with me? Have you touched the writing under the shore? I share this piece by Dr. Alexis Pauling Gums with reverence and humility. The reverence before a sacred text. With humility, acknowledging that these stories told with exquisite beauty and artfulness are not my own. Within are stories of struggles and pain that no one should know, and yet so many marginalized folk do. I share these stories with reverence and humility because they are stories of joy and triumph in the face of human self selfishness and evil. They are chronicling what is possible when mighty things converge, meld, and in so doing, create something nascent that is both wonderful and beautiful, something truly unique. Friends, we have been changed and we have been charged. This awful pandemic has seismically shifted every landscape under which our feet sit, both literally and metaphorically. And we have been challenged to join our resources, our respective rivers, and regionalize by a group of esteemed UU leaders representing every corner of our country. The Commission on Institutional Change has spoken. In their report, Widening the Circle of Concern, these leaders speak. Governance within the association needs streamlining as outdated and duplicative structures exist. 
the unnecessary complexity of the current Unitarian Universalist governance structures is biased toward the more privileged. With our current system within the West, we have areas with haves and sadly, areas with have-nots. By regionalizing and joining the full force of our waters, our gifts, we are more able to dispense a broader pool of resources to congregations and communities who've traditionally been underserved and underrepresented in decision-making. Let's interweave so that we can be closer and more closely support those who need it most. Can I get an amen? Amen. I wouldn't call it a coincidence, but isn't it interesting, given our reading, that it has been a thoughtful and wise minister from the great state of Mississippi who has championed bringing our waters, these rivers together, the districts in the Pacific Western region. Reverend Carlton Elliott Smith has held cottage and board meetings, spent countless hours listening and dialoguing with folk, assuaging fears, building trust, investing in relationships, championing this just cause. Dr. Gums writes, when two rivers meet, it is a ceremony, a delegation for only those who have reshaped the land with their cleansing. The meeting of two rivers is surrender. It births civilizations and swallows them back. This is why you came to Tugaloo, the meeting point of two rivers, with your question. What are you willing to surrender for the greater good? Today, in person in San Diego or virtually, and in home and hamlet, we hold our own embodied ceremonies, pouring as one our waters, each with their own life-giving properties and components. Yet as we ritualize this confluence, what is our question? The poem in our hearts our prayer. As these rivers coalesce and intermingle, what is your blessing for this new waterway emergent? For a final instance, I'll call forth the excellent acuity of Dr. Alexis Pauline Gums. All I can say from here is that you got to let yourself be a meeting place of rivers. Trust yourself as light. Believe that you can float and then let go. May we both trust and let go. May it be so. Blessings to you all. Join us in a feeling of prayer and joy as you gaze at your bowl of mingled waters. Notice the fluidity and grace of it. Notice how it reflects what has been and is still in this moment and flows to the future. Place the tiniest fraction of salt from the Pacific Central District on the tip of your tongue. Feel its salty zing. Let the flavor roll across your tongue. This is the salt of ocean and sea breeze. Imagine fresh roasted vegetables sprinkled with its flavor, bright made brighter with its salinity. Swallow. Feel the essence of the great powerful Pacific Ocean fill your spirit. Imagine the currents that carry that salt to land, to tributaries, to soil, and ultimately to your table, pulling you to earth grounding you in this moment. After a moment's pause, add your salt to the mingled waters of the Pacific Western region. Lift the seed from the evergreen forests of the Pacific Northwest. Pinch it gently. Notice its flexibility, its shape, smell, its aroma. What images are conjured? 
From this seed sprouts new life, new possibilities. Place the seed to your forehead, just above your eyes. Imagine wonderful things for Unitarian Universalism in the West. Plant a seed of wonder and possibility within this seed, with your very thoughts and intentions. And after a moment's pause, add your seed to the mingled waters of the Pacific Western region. Take the soft sand from the Pacific Southwest District and roll it between your fingers. Feel its resilient grittiness. Wonder at how this silica may have been part of the shell of a tiny protist whirling and twirling in the churning currents and waves of the Pacific Ocean. After a moment's pause, Add your sand to the mingled waters of the Pacific Western region. Hold the stone from the peaks of the mountain desert district. Grip it tightly. Is it warm, cold, in between? What is its surface like? Smooth, rough, a patchwork? Glide your fingers over it. Feel for edges and crevices. Trace its contours and lines. Once satisfied with your survey, place it over your heart and imbue it with love and compassion that streams from your UU faith. After a moment's pause, add your stone to the mingled waters of the Pacific Western region. Notice the stone, the seed, the sand, and remember the salt. All of these objects now activated with your prayers and intentions, resting harmoniously within the now combined waters of these four different waters, now one. Take your hand and dip it in the water. Give your fingers a moment to play and wiggle in the water. Let the droplets cascade down and between digits. Bring a few of those droplets to your forehead. Feel the cool freshness. Let any tension or worry be washed away by the briskness of these combined blessed waters now blessing you. Go forth, renewed. Fear and hold me Fear and hold me
The four waters had been woven together. Each strand, different in its own right, still remained, but created something new. From the many waters, there is a unity that makes us one. Together, the rivers rejoiced at their renewal and could feel the power in sharing what they had and the future that lay before them. This last monsoon season in Tucson, Arizona began slowly. One drop, which could easily be ignored as a hope, a wish or a prayer for rain in the middle of a very dry season. But as one drop attached to one drop, attached to one drop, attached to one drop, we could no longer ignore the truth and the power of normally dry creek beds overflowing with raging waters, altering our landscapes, devastating some and fueling others. May our regional coming together be a tidal wave of love, justice, and faith for this world. I haven't always felt welcome. The way I flow was just not really accepted in places I had been before. And believe me, I tried to go the same direction as those around me, but it just always felt like I was going against the current. Okay, no more water puns, I promise. I just can't help myself. When I found Unitarian Universalism, it felt like I finally found a spiritual community that I had been missing before. I found friends and taught camps full of people that didn't mind who I was or who I loved. Now, we have a great opportunity to make our community even bigger and accept even more in. With great joy, we can make sure that everyone in our region is heard and has what they need to the best of our abilities. I see that blending to be a great gift. One that will be exciting to open the floodgates on and see where it flows. I lied. I had to do one more. I feel the winds blowing down from the Pacific Northwest. I feel the sunshine and warmth rising from the Pacific Southwest. We are interconnected by our rivers and streams, rivers and streams that pour into and take from the very same ocean. Standing on the shore of Hawaii, with my feet in the sand and ocean waves washing over me, I feel connected to my siblings along the coast of Washington, Oregon, and California. After a storm has passed on a clear day in spring, I stand on top of Mount Diablo in the San Francisco Bay Area. I can see 200 miles around me. I see the waters that connect us and feel the winds that blow between us. I see the rolling hills and the trees, an interconnected landscape of life. The Pacific Northwest embraces our sibling rivers, recognizing ourselves in all of the others. The sand of the Southwest, the rocks of the mountain, salt from the ocean, our faith resonates with our siblings' faith, and we gain from their hard work with immigration, anti-racism, social justice, economic equity, and environmental sustainability. Your wisdom will be our wisdom, and our wisdom will be yours. We will learn from the heat of the desert, the wind across the Rockies, the fertile hills of the Central Valley, and the golden sunsets of the Pacific, all powering our new life together. We do not face the future alone. We are one powerful river. Still my
over me, immune to permanence, recycling endlessly. I am water. I am life. The form may change, but the substance stays the same. Strike me down, and I will rise again. Rick Yancey. Our waters have been woven together. A mixture's like ours is both mundane and a miracle. Go out and flow into the world with the grace and the power of the waters that you possess. May it be so. Universe is the ocean I 